I thought the volume was too low. Welcome back to the adventures of Buford O. Yesterday we found out a lot of stuff. Mr. House is a robot, and we befriended another robot that wants to kill him. We can, Hello. oh Jesus Christ, we can wait till fucking sun up for starters. So we can go to Caesar's Fort and get our revenge on Benny and the Platinum Chip. Where the hell are you off to, Speed Racer? Hey there. Need anything? A lot of caravans today. Um, we're looking for chainsaw parts and power fist parts. I forgot to see if we can give Eddie another gun. I think Eddie's the one that you can't give weapons to because he's a little robot. But if we can give him a custom plasma defender, wowie. Nothing of value. Laser sight for a 12.7 millimeter SMG. I haven't even seen a 12.7, I think. Hey, Justin. We are starting later tonight. Hey there. Need anything? I like the caravans all move at the exact same time. That makes my life a little easier. More SMG parts, chainsaw carbide teeth. Hello, I have no money to give you. Shit. And you've got the power fist chrome tubes. Hey there. Need anything? Oh man, I bet this guy feels kind of bad. Everyone else has like plasma defender parts and like all this wacky shit and then we walk into this guy. What do you got there? Well, I got this stick of dynamite I found. Hey there. Need anything? Hello, other man's exact duplicate. I don't know why I keep looking at them all. I have no money. Ah. Holy shit! The fuck was that? An NCR patrol, but who are you with? A sergeant? Who's this? An NCR mercenary? Gun down this dog. That might have been that person's pet. Another caravan. Man, Novak is just caravan country. Okay, we need to find somewhere to go. I don't really want to go to... Holy shit! Prim wimped out and accepted it. My weapon wheel's all wrong. Where's my fucking binoculars? I think they blow up my, my wheel when I go to the casino. That sucks. NCR rules. Some people I'm sorry it had to end this way. Is that a 10 mil or 12.5? Kind of looks like a 10, but it might be 12.5. Hello, Hello. I mean, armies can have mercenaries. It's. A generic RPG protagonist really is a mercenary for the army. Um, yeah, so we got to just go on a hello. Well, well, well. Switchblade didn't work out for you, did it, kid? Take your bobby pin, though. 
While I was still in bullet time, I was like, I'm running a little dumb. Jesus Christ. Just wall-to-wall -wall baddies out here on the highway. Run for it, cow. Run for it. I'll do what I can to help. Don't get in front like a fucking police academy target. You shot the blind man? You shot the baby? Oh, come on! That's your fault. Okay, go hide. What the hell happened over here? Is that your boss? No, that's just a Viper gun. What the hell gun is that? A 5.56? Five, is that chambered for rifle ammo? What the hell happened here? There's always such wacky stories with these extra spawns. Another 5.56 five, pistol. What the fuck are these things? I think that's the sawed off hunting rifle pistol from Fallout 2, isn't it? Damage 12. Bonus crit chance. I don't think I want to explore Helios right now, but you know what we'll do, Eddie, is we'll head out to this strip. More importantly, the places around it. Someone said there was a place where Raiders had a chainsaw, and I don't think it's a unique chainsaw. So it's a little redundant for us to go there, but... You know, we haven't been inside the Aerotech office park, which has its own faction. No, wait, this pump also has its own faction. I want to see what's in the Aerotech office park. That gun is the unique 556. Five, okay, that makes more sense then. Huh. Some sort of NCR compound. It's been a long tour. Welcome, bro. How can I help you? Hey there, brother. What's the deal with this place? Poor lost souls, most of them. They thought to come to New Vegas and find their fortunes on its shining strip. But the journey is often long, and the price to enter the city is steep. Those who could not pay ended up here, hoping to earn the caps they need. Some find honest labor, but more fritter away what little they've saved on crooked gambling and cheap liquor. Still, I minister to them as I can. Who are you? Well, that's an interesting question. Among the church, I'm called Elder Gunnarsson. The followers call me Doc. You can call me Bert, though. A follower of the Apocalypse from Fallout 1? I surely am. Well, sort of. I came out from Utah about six months back, saw a need for my help here. The followers weren't too happy about that, of course. They haven't been too fond of the NCR for a while, but I go where I'm needed. Does that mean the NCR has Utah? Following a lost cause, I'm afraid. My old friend Nephi fell in with a bad crowd. Drug runners, raiders, probably worse things it's better not to dwell on. When his gang headed west, I followed. I thought perhaps I could turn him back to the church. No, that means he's not from the NCR then if he came from Utah. What happened to your friend Nephi? I never was able to reach him. He has allowed drugs and hatred to consume him. He runs with the fiends north of here now. They call him Driver Nephi. The fiends, huh? I'm on my way to kill some fiends. Goodbye. All I can think about now is going back home. I do, you have a shop. You're like, I don't understand the purpose of this place. This is what Freeside is. The people that can't afford to get into the actual strip, that's Freeside. Show what we can do for everyone else in these territories. Christ, the only thing of consequence I've done is fucking have the NCR Annex Prim so it's all people talk about.
They're not too protective of their possessions out here in the Aerotech office park, at least. Ooh. Hey, hey, my kind of party. Buff out jet psycho. Empty scotch bottle. Someone's already been here. More jet, more mentats. I don't even eat the mentats. It's just, you know, try to collect drugs when you can. Catch them all. Today's physician. Ah, I'm really regretting that old world gourmet. I don't eat old timey food that much. Which is a shame because there's a fucking boatload in here. This. I've never been here. If this was in vanilla, and I can see why. It's a pretty forgetful region. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. The shitter's locked. Really? All right, he said north, so let's go beat up some fiends. I think honestly that might just be the north edge. Like up here by the Mole Rat Ranch. Because we saw some like slinking around these farmhouses. What happened here? They're all dead and it's been boarded up. Well, well, well. Actually, are those followers? Looks like they spawned right on top of each other. Oops. Okay. Oh, shit. Those prospectors are going to wander right in. I better go help. Do my good deed for the day. Put my fist away so it doesn't get deformed from the run. Holy shit, here it goes. What the hell were you shooting? Is that the 556 pistol? You hear there was some kind of shootout at one of them casinos on the strip? You mean right here, right now? You heard there was a shootout. These guys just spawned to fill up this farm, and there happened to be a raider encampment here, so they just had to delete him first. Followers of the apocalypse. Hey there. Need anything? A farming instructor? I'd like to see your wares. Ooh. No, never mind. This is all kind of shit. Well, I guess I can't kill those fiends. What kind of pistol did that girl have? It just looked like a 9mm. Did it look like a deagle? Kind of just looking for trouble right now. Can't find any. My perception's too low and we don't have a compass. Are you crazy? You're crazy. You saw that, right, Eddie? He came at me with a knife. Well, well, well. Mm. 
Get out of the way. Oh, that's that minigun. I thought it was a flamethrower. All right, well, running headlong into several raiders isn't the best idea for your health. Just have a bit of the turf and turf. I mean, minigun is money. Now the question is, did I put all your shit away or are you still weighed down? Perfect. You got all the fucking room in the world. Log off. Okay, this guy had a flamethrower. That's where I saw that. I knew I saw a flamer somewhere in this fight. Now, why do you have 308 if you're fighting with a hatchet? New Vegas home. Hello, raiders? A broken ham radio. Any drugs? You call yourself raiders. I'm actually low on food for healing. Might have to actually double back to our hotel room if we try to... Is this boarded up? Why the fuck is everything boarded up in this game? like the sun's going down. This will just be our little secret. The hell did you find? Who's this? What in the world? Are those better be bandits. You better not be killing people. Just because. NCR deserters. All right, good shooting. He just wanted that bandito cowboy hat. I think I had boxing tape. We learned our lesson several levels ago on that one. Jesus Christ, Eddie. Thanks for having my back, though, but... Another frag grenade. I don't like the fact that they're fighting with frag grenades. Yeah, the recharge rifle is pretty good. I'm amazed that we got it in good springs. Yeah, he's running because he's cooking off. Can we go to shit? Now, I wonder if we can loot any of these Brahmin for Brahmin steaks. God damn it, they're rotting. Just a pneumatic fist hits you in your leather hood and she says, I'm hit. I need a lot of medics now that I think about it for the way we fight. We need a lot of medics or a lot of DT. Um, probably power armor. I don't know if anything competes with power armor for faction armor. A locked first aid kit. Sun's going down. I don't know much how much more adventuring we can do today, Eddie. Board it up. DLC armor? Is there DLC armor? Does turbo stack with my bullet time? Yes. The implant's level 30, though. The only downside with turbo is we can't do power attacks. 
because power attacks are really slow and turbo. I think we're getting to the point... Actually, we can't make our own turbo yet is the problem. Once we can make or buy turbo reliably, then we can use turbo on a lot more fights. Flamethrower's got to go. I thought I was getting your flamethrower. I was breaking your leg. I'm going to take this incinerator. Good work on that bush dog. You almost got me. By the way, you need to take some of this shit. It's very fucking heavy. The Desert Ranger armor from Honest Hearts. You know, I've never finished Honest Hearts. I've done all of them but Honest Hearts. Just It's because I always wait till the end for Honest Hearts and then I'm not in the mood to play DLC anymore. Yeah, if I break the weapon, they'll throw it away. Which is a little hard to do with power fists. You got a decent little pile of money, though, coming in. I've never seen this before. I've never seen a house that you can go inside without having to zone in. The Patriots cookbook. For patriotism. I don't really think we should be out here anymore. I just want to see if there's a fast travel point, then we'll head back to the gun runners. The Horowitz Farmstead, good enough for me. Where the hell were the gun runners? There they are. Hello, Give me this shit. Get over customer. here. I need all that stuff I just gave you. Okay, my friend. Welcome, sir or madam. Has another chainsaw today. But not a custom. No, sir, it is custom. A combat helmet. You know, I feel like I should wear a combat helmet soon. I should probably stop wearing. Jesus Christ. Damage threshold five. I think we should probably start wearing a helmet instead of a cowboy hat. Man, DT13 on recon armor? That shit's nothing. That'll decrease the weight on our chainsaw, and it'll unfortunately also consume all the money we just earned. Did I ever go to the old lady scrapyard? Um, for Eddie. No, we haven't done that. Ooh, increases damage, increases attack speed, hello. They've actually got a lot of nice stuff today, so I actually made no money.
Okay, let's put on our helmet. Sorry, Dapper Gambler hat, but that's the way she goes. Oh, I had another flamer. What the fuck? This one might be too broken to sell. Increased attack speed. How increased are we talking here? That's pretty fast. That's great. And then we go uh, increased attack speed, which I think is rushing water and turbo. That'll be fun. Really don't want to be adventuring out here at nighttime. Let's go home. I feel that we need more food. Actually, a decent amount of shit we can just sell. Oh, look, I forgot about oh, most of this stuff. Calcron. Bunch of steaks. Gecko hides. Thought I had more stuff. Bring all the ammo. We really should just sell all this ammo. It's annoying that when I try to grab multiple and it gives me that prompt and the cursor goes to the center so it's like it's hard to just keep grabbing. All right. We'll sleep but then we'll go back to the gun runners in the morning. The hell are you carrying? It's so heavy. I think I have too much meat on me now. All right, let's hit the hay, homie. Caravans visiting us today. We get a lot of caravans. The gun runners, because there's the parts for the. Hello, potential. Parts for the chainsaw that make it lighter and also power fist stuff. I don't. I want the bonus damage on the power fist. I think I can live without the bonus condition. I think that flamethrower is too busted, but we'll try. Welcome, sir or madam.
Do you take any? Do you take hide? Uh, it would be misc. It wouldn't be. He does. This gun shop takes animal hide. Now, this is too much money, but we're buying some stuff from them as well. I just gave them my 40 millimeter grenades like an idiot, even though I can't really carry my 40 millimeter grenade launcher into combat very easily. Okay. I want the. Oh no. I fucking went home to sleep and he upgraded his goddamn parts on me. You son of a bitch. Really could have used the bonus damage on the power fist. We got bonus speed though, which is really nice too. All right, well give me the um, chainsaw condition. That's a real shame. Did I see a fat man? I did, a, f a custom fat man no less, for the aspiring genocidal maniac. I actually gave you too much shit, so let's just slowly grab it all until we get the 1,000 caps. There we go. What's the custom power fist having? Right now it just has a bonus attack speed. God damn it, I'm still heavy, huh? What the hell is the problem here? I think it's all the meat. All right, let's go back to Camp McCarran because there were definitely bandits on that side. The shit right here is all bandit country. There's a gaggle of them. Just remember to take a little medics this time. Some psycho. Here we say go. They won't even know what hit him until it's too late. dead she did stop talking mid bark I think we got him cowboy repeaters oh, poochie 
dog steak. Who the fuck is shooting explosions? Get the drop on you from up top. What's this? Little car wall they were starting on. What the hell is going on out there, Edie? Who the fuck do you see? It's unconscious, but I don't know where the fuck it happened. You little shit. Sounds like maybe the NCR is fighting them. That one was swinging. Yeah, she's on to me. Sunset Sarsaparilla. The Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, to be precise. I think I'll just drink a bunch of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Hope this place has a shitter, because that stuff goes right through you. Oh, there goes your gun. Dead eye. I could do that. I could recharge your rifle. The guns out. That'd be neat. Going somewhere? Feed head crippled. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I'm a terrible shot. <sighs> God damn, I need a campfire. We gotta grill up some steaks. What is this? Disassembled weapon shipment. Steel? Fucking excuse me. Hope I don't get caught by the raider police. Stolen. There's two of ya. Gunrunner's property? I have no idea. There's a few of you, huh? Oh boy. That hell's falling out of me a lot quicker than I'd like. Rushing water it is. Jake juice is pretty good for you. Just duck and weave. That's a flamethrower.
I think I was just trading shots with a named raider there. Actually, the main reason we're in trouble is because I had no fucking health. So the Sunset Sarsaparilla Factory, that's our, uh, our traveling point. I need to find a goddamn campfire. They're surprisingly hard to find. Unless you don't mind just fast traveling back all the time. Um, let's try the Crimson Caravan. They're kind of close. They might have one. Goddamn bumpkins. They don't. No, oh, there it is. Thank God. Get out of my fucking way. I gotta grill up some animal meat. Desert salad. HP 14 for 15 seconds. That's fucking amazing. That's some shit I should be making. Ooh, I should be making some slasher. Damage up, DR up. Ah, oh, which one's flat? Hmm. No, you're right, Justin. It does say caps. Maybe that's the market value of the items. The hell is rocket? Oh, it's just super jet. Just because we don't actually use vats, I don't think jet itself is a good idea. The Glafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Uh just buy. A bladed gauntlet, a little late for that. An advanced radiation suit, though. Radiation resistance, 40. Oh, they sell drugs here. I should help the Crimson Caravan. Do you have anything for a power fist? You don't. Well, maybe there's somewhere I can crash. Main office. Where would I sleep? I guess I'd sleep at the Lucky 38. That's the closest. And as long as we don't see Mr. House, Eddie's allowed to come with me through the casino. Did I ever hit up the gun shop near the Atomic Wrangler? I didn't. They're just uh, an energy weapon shop, but I guess they might have power fist Where parts. To, partner? Can you please take me to my uh, presidential suite? I roll a suite? It's its own floor. Or do I just... No, it looks like there's multiple bedrooms and they gave me the whole floor. No way, I only see one bed. I don't know if you use buffalo gourd seeds for anything. Get out of the way, Eddie. I keep forgetting the booze heals me. Oh, there's my snow globes. Copy of today's physician. 
Well, I think these are the not grimy version of pre-war clothes, which I think are not super rare in New Vegas, but I think they were kind of hard to find in uh, Fallout 3. That is a very weird bathroom for a high roller suite. Very weird. Very weird. Presumably functional computers, but they're turned off. I prefer Novak. I don't know. Not the big city type. This is a little too fancy for me. And yeah, the bathroom has a carpet. Where to, partner? Going down, stranger. Casino floor. All right, back to those bastards. Those fiends, if you will. I've been waiting for a fight. Hey, 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 hey. Get the fuck back here. Well, level nine's on the way at this rate. You know what? I should be throwing more grenades. You don't think Vanilla had a fast travel for like 30? I believe that. I think you either had to fast travel. I want to say you couldn't fast travel onto the strip. I want to say you always had to fast travel to the gate. And then pass the credit check, but maybe not. Sullivan solved the mystery. Who the fuck shoot explosions? Shit! No! I was not doped up enough for that fight. A problem will rectify this time. You'll bleed, bitch, is what he just said to me. He'll pay for that mistake with his life. I want the oh, we'll buff out. It's probably a bad idea because we'll misjudge it and die when we lose the temporary health. I'm just not a fan of topless guys with pool cues surviving pneumatic fist to the head. Oh, damn. That guy was definitely throwing grenades. Where's the guy with the plasma pistol? See a couple coming around on us. Get ready with that bullet time. Surprise! Time. Full health that time. Which is weird. I swore I got nicked a couple times. 
God damn it, now who else is out here? Here's what I'm gonna do. We don't use the dynamite, so I'm gonna drop it all. Actually, 56 damage. Well, the grenades do 162. We have our two grenades, which in hindsight is probably not enough to help us, so I'm going to pick this back up. But once we're in, uh, no fucking around bandit town, just start checking that dynamite. Okay. I got that guy. What the fuck is that one wearing? Be careful, Eddie. I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. Okay, here we go. That was very polite of him to take a knee. Oh, a laser sight on that gun. Look at him. Eddie? What did that new perk I unlocked give me? I think the just killing dudes perks give us like under 5% damage buffs. Beautiful beatdown. Reduce the AP cost of unarmed attacks and bats. So that doesn't really impact us. Lord Death, you gain a damage bonus against everything. Because you like killing everything. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Inching our way closer to... One of these ruins has the bandits. I think that was where the flamethrower guy was. Got one grenade left, and then we can switch over to the dynamite. Which, really, we can just throw all the dynamite, wait for a chain reaction to go off. Someone's fighting something, and I want to get there before the fight's over. Just squeeze in. If he's moving, that means he can't make the sh- Oh, you blew it. My arm. Yoink. Dare you? Whoa. Eddie is maybe in trouble. Holy shit! Eddie's definitely in trouble. Jesus! Okay, all right. Let's 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 use our noodle here. We got the nine dynamite sticks still. Fuck! I gotta stop throwing them short. Ugh.
Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We just lost the temporary health. I almost fucking had a stroke. We gotta fucking drug this guy. Okay, just hit me with everything. And the wine. Oh, the Rosander root. That's probably how you get gingivitis. The trail mix. I need more psycho. I need more medics. I need a steak. I've become addicted to medics. You know, there's worse things to be addicted to. I don't. I have the turbo. I think we need to turbo once we get up to him. His name is Cook Cook, and he's about to be dead dead. Because here's the rushing water in the turbo. That worked out. He has a flamer and an incinerator. My god. Cook Cook's head. Why not? Just put that in your pocket. All right, we got to go find Eddie. Are you sleeping or? Why? <laughs> he is now. We're pretty doped up. We can take a few shots. Get up, thank you. Medex doesn't last forever, so we gotta kind of take advantage. What the fuck are they fighting over here? Did I loot Cook Cook? Yeah, we took his head. I don't know what the fuck they're shooting. Is it a rival gang? Oh, there is no cover. We're just going for it, huh? What in the goddamn? Kind of crazy these people are taking two punches. What in the fuck is going on out there? Eddie had my back apparently. Who they're fighting. Bunch of poochies there. Well I can I can punch a pooch. Hell is that? A, a fire gecko. Oh. I'm about to be overweight in a second here when my drugs wear off. Hold on to some shit. I don't know where you put it, but thank you. Yeah, it looks like they were just shit shot against fire geckos. Get closer to these poochies.
Hello? Her name is Violet. Things aren't going well for her. A lot of dogs. That's a lot of dogs. What did what the fuck was her deal? She has a head apparently. Ooh, some psycho. My kind of girl. Nuka-Cola Quartz. Oh no. You just stay the fuck back. The hell is going on over there, Eddie? I need a status report. Oh my, I have a helmet on. Just <laughs> right on the tippy top of my army helmet. I'm gonna have a very serious talk with that gun runner. I'm gonna try the drop kick. Got her. Actually, I don't think that's what a drop kick is. But I kicked them and they drop. There goes all the drugs. Programs digest. You know, they don't have a lot of computers out here, so interesting choice, Violet. Weird little clubhouse you've got. Ooh, a doctor's bag. Some steady, which is for guns. Doctor's bag again, though. So we've stolen two people's heads. More fucking raiders over there. I'm gonna need a little more food if we're fighting that many raiders. health come back though all right I'm in a clobbering mood now I can feel it I'm feeling it gotcha. no you don't I'm gonna make you scream. holy shit don't throw that Another 5.56 five, pistol. I don't remember seeing these. Maybe it's a gunrunner thing or... I don't know. Definitely don't remember half the raiders carrying them. What is this? South Vegas ruins maybe later. I think it's just a bandit dungeon. Oh, they thought those. Oh, there was one right there. I don't have enough AP for that one. I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. 
I'll certainly fucking try. Hang on, everybody. Rushing water will be wonderful. Medics, jet. Just don't stop punching. Okay, okay. Drugs, you've done it again. Did a number on my body though, by the way. Drugs are no drugs. Driver Neffy, whoops. It's the guy's friend. Buffo Jet Psycho, man. One wrong turn on the trail and that could have been me. I have like no fucking hit points here. Eh? That fight just kept going. Man, they had a minigun in the mix. I think Eddie's almost full. He is, he is full. Any other cool shit that we missed? Five bottle caps. Jackpot. Right, I think we've done the perimeter of their little bandit ruin. Is that I'm a terrible shot. Luckily, Eddie isn't. Looks like this is uh, some of the cement factory shit they were talking about. No, that was Boulder. Boulder was the cement factory. Yeah, it looks like this is nothing. I kind of want to look for a waypoint so we can come back to where we were, but I think I should just fast travel the gun runners before I lose all my bonus strength. Man, we traveled pretty far. Oh, we did, we did get it. The Samson Rock Crushing Plant. I don't think he has any money. Customer. Welcome, sir or madam. Doesn't have any money today. That's a big problem. 
Unless you've got some uh, mods for me and we can trade you even Stevens. Oh, you got the carbide teeth and the HD chain. What do you got for power fists? Beautiful. The chrome tubes and the high cap valves. Look at that. Already owes me money. Perfect. Done. The chrome tubes for bonus. Look at that. That thing is in great shape now. And yeah, let's go uh, tell that guy in the office park that we murdered his friend. I'm sure that'll go over wonderfully. There goes all the drugs. Guess who's dead? I've heard through the locals that Nephi has passed on. I truly hope his soul finds peace. What happened to your friend Nephi? I never was able to reach him. He has allowed drugs and hatred to consume him. He runs with the fiends north of here now. They call him Driver Nephi. They used to. What do you do here? I give what aid and comfort I can. I have medical knowledge thanks to my time with the followers. It's noble of you. I only do what I can to help. Well, see ya. Not gonna have some ghoul quack heal me when there's a perfectly good medical clinic nearby. Hey, Peko. What's the head for? I'm not sure, Justin. I think there's a quest at some point where they want me to get the heads of those bandits, but... To what end, I don't know. That was a fun little romp. We got some money out of the deal and some weapon upgrades, most importantly. So let's head our way over to the fort. Travel to Cottonwood Cove and take the barge up the river to the fort. Now, if I was a Cottonwood Cove, where would I be? I would be, whoa, way over there. I guess we just take the road from Wolfhorn, Nipton. Okay, it's a little dark. Let's just camp out here for the night. NCR patrol this close to the Legion. Rookie move, boys. Rookie move. Is that Cottonwood Cove?
Mole rat country. What's that over there? Bust up those big teeth ears. Jumping at me like that. What do we have here? Um, I don't think we need to worry about where the heads go for now. A raided farmstead. They didn't raid this corn. Level up for finding this abandoned farm, though. Barter's in great shape. Let's work on our unarmed here. And we just want the health. Purified water. Holy shit. Some sort of ambush. That's a big ambush. Keep him busy, Eddie. Those vipers? Yep, viper gunslingers. Hey, Salisbury steak. Eat that right now to celebrate. Eddie actually drew most of their fire in that fight, so that really worked out. I need to find another merchant. Mick and Ralph, actually, maybe Fat Cow's right. We can go to the gun merchant and free side. But I think, like, they might sell Power Fist, but I think they exclusively sell energy weapons. So, weird little ambush. Feral dogs. What in God's fucking name? Some Legion boy stirring up trouble. Hello? Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. Why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. What happened? Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. How did you survive? I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the Legion, they all died out. How'd the Legion get into the camp? I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. Can I ask you something else? Where should I go? Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. Why Novak? Because it's a far... Okay. Where should I go instead? What's so dangerous about this place? The radiation... The whole obviously. area is... A... What kind of creatures? Mostly ghouls and a handful of radscorps. I think some geckos moved in not too long ago. They seem to stick mostly to the south end of the camp. Uh huh.
Well, those Legion guys should be fair game. Machete. Their equipment's kind of dog shit is the problem. Campfire, though. Actually, you know what? I guess we might be able to start working our way over to science now that all our main skills are like in the 70s. Grab this rushing water, because rushing water is wonderful. There was a couple drugs we needed science for. I'm not seeing any. Well, the rocket, but I mean, we don't use that. No, Slasher, I think, took science. Yeah, 50 science, and then we get that one, which is a kind of a fucking big deal. So I definitely want to get 50 science soon. I think we'll just double down on the science right now and start heading for it. That's the patrol from earlier. They must be coming to Camp Searchlight. They said the town's irradiated. I don't know if I can... Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. I don't have my radiation suit on me, do I? Does this say... We can go get a radiation suit? And then come back. Where are you? Radiation suit. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. That's the doctor, but we are a little low on stim packs. And we've just got a lot of money if she's got a lot of money. What can I do for you? medical supplies she only has a hundred dollars to her name um whoa it's got turbo actually you know just in general and this thing's 139 caps Pretty fucking strong, actually, for a golf club. 23 damage, bonus crit chance. My sawed-off shotgun's worth a lot for some reason. Actually, maybe just my barter's finally kicking in. $1,000 for this power fist. Wowie. basically just don't want to give you any money. I want to trade you even Stevens here. And I know we can now. Perfect. So we got a couple stim packs out of that. You know what? The radiation's kind of starting to get up there. Let's just get it purged. Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Nobody likes a smart ass on caps. Okay. And remember if this doesn't help. Try taking a bath in tomato juice. All right, there goes the radiation. One problem solved. Now let's see if our radiation suit is actually good enough for... I think Camp Searchlight's actually very radioactive. Oh my god. Legion again? 
Or is it something dumb like a dog? Sounds like we're running prim now. I'd still rather take my leave at the strip. There's a golden gecko. Alright. We're gonna lose a lot of our armor by switching to radiation. You want to fight me, it's your own fault. Oh, those are ghouls. That's fine, that's fine. They have knives and shit. What the fuck? Oh shit. Turrets. Oops, that's just a frag mine. Battle the turrets? Okay. Well, fuck, with all the radiation resistance, maybe we should explore their base a little bit. An irradiated NCR dog tag, that might be a bad thing to carry around. Police the key? What the fuck, NCR? Changed my mind. He said I changed my mind, Eddie. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Those guys hurt. I think we might just want to switch to our actual fighting clothes. Oh, that's why I died. And fucking no health. Get the hell out of here so I can put my normal clothes back on. All right, we'll clear the radiation. Not clear the ghouls, but we'll be doing a lot better with fucking 2D2. Yeah. Can you shit ghoul? My hat's got a little light on it or something. It's another one.
Oh. Good shoot. Now, for now, we're friends with the Legion, so we can just if we can just get down there, we're pretty safe. Oh no, is that a great con? Oh no. Please, help me. Who did this to you? The Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please, let me down. You're smuggling drugs? Please, for the love of God, let me down. Let me get you down from there. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. You're smuggling drugs? Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south. But the Legion caught me. Who did this to you? A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. When they found the, um, package I was carrying, they strung me up there. Oh, no. That's exactly why we don't fucking work for the Legion. Just honest businessman trying to ply his trade. That's what they do to him. Shameful. Halt! What business have you in Cottonwood Cove, outsider? I have the mark of Caesar. You were the mark of Caesar. You must be who Cursor Lucullus is waiting for. You may continue, but be warned. Mark or no, we will not tolerate aggressive action by visitors in the camp. Okay. We're going for the yes man ending, so we're not going to be too chummy with the Legion. Awe, true to Kaiser. I want to see how that guy looks. I either have. A Legion armor retexture or a Legion armor remodel? A profligate bearing the mark of Kaisar. What is the world coming to? Cursor Lucullus is waiting for you with the barge at the docks. He will take you to the fort to speak with Kaisar. That's some armor. It is the armor of a Kenturian. You have the rare honor of beholding it unspattered by the blood of my inferiors. Cool. See ya. Oh, look at this advanced boat they'll be letting me use. True to Kaisa. I'll wait. Are you ready to head up river? <laughs> this thing fucking floats. What'll happen at the fort? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains received this honor. What have I done to earn this honor? You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. Dissolute? All who are not legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. Okay, let's go. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. A few hours... By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. What's considered a banned item? Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. Oh, so just everything in my inventory. Here you go. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Hello. At least I'm not naked. Slaves aren't much of a challenge in the arena. 
A merchant. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. I am. Have you ever met Kaiser? I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. Tell me about the Legate. He's the best the Legion has to offer, or so the legionaries say. Brute of a man, wears a fancy metal mask in a battle. He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. What are you for sale? Have a look. What kind of dope legion shit can you hook me up with? Ooh, a katana. Nothing else of consequence, really. A an authentic blade. The fuck are you selling me then? Chainsaw carbide teeth. I can't remember what my chainsaw has. I think it has carbide teeth. I think we're trying to find the lower weight. I'd like to know more about you. Shoot. Are you with the Legion? No, sir. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. Is it dangerous to trade with the Legion? Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. Do you trade with the NCR? Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. Let's talk about something else. Specifically, um, is my ship busted? Armor only, really? I'll gain a little bit of DT here. here oh, because his skills dog shit, that's why. I will pay you 10 caps to stitch up my radiation suit, thank you. Goodbye. Hello? My feet are killing me. Well, they're just wrapped up in a shirt. What's down here? Oh, this is just a long trench you guys have dug for yourself. Hello. The camps are getting crowded. Look at this speed racer. Hello. See you later, alligator. You're funny looking. <laughs> Just fucking children, man. These fucking children always, always. Always asshole children. The camps are getting crowded. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent legionaries. I'm quite true to Kaiser. Look at that. Keep it sharp. The new slave girls are quite beautiful. Hold your tongue, wastrel. You here to fight in the arena? Then you're talking to the right man. Oh, tell me more about the arena. Such as? What are the rules? Light armor and machetes only. The challenger, the one who asks to enter the arena, may be pitted against one or more opponents. All matches continue until one side is dead. No exceptions. What do you do? I set up the fights, keep track of prisoners available, and make sure the arena's cleaned up. Most of the time, it's some young legionary trying to make a name for himself, hoping to get noticed by Kaisar or the Praetorians. We pit slaves or prisoners against each other once in a while, but it's not much of a show. They're usually too reluctant to kill each other. That's enough about the arena. What can you tell me about the Legate? 
a great warrior. When he was but a recruit, I watched him kill ten men in the arena with his bare hands. He doesn't feel pain, and he never ever shows mercy. If all legionaries were like him, the legion would be invincible. What do you know about the burned man? It's not something we like to speak of. The burned man was our greatest warrior, even greater than Legate Lanius. But he failed Kaisar at the dam. He's been dead for several years now. But the rumor is that Kaisar has scouts out looking for him all the same. The burned man was a very tough man. Should have called him the tough man. I do want to fight in the arena though with my bare hands. What do you need from me? I'd like to fight in the arena. Only you may enter. T fine, 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 fine. Petty, wait here. What do you need from me? I'd like to fight. That can be arranged. You will be facing off against a couple of disobedient slaves. Not much of a challenge, but it might be entertaining to watch. Okay. Remember the rules. Light armor and machetes only. And, of course, to the death. I'm ready. Good luck. Hey. Let them fight it out. I don't fight with a machete, though. What the fuck? Had enough. Hmm. I think I broke the rules. That was really weird. What do you need from me? Only you may enter. I have to use just the machete. Well, that's not as fun. Is this the way in? You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. God damn it, this. You gotta wait here again, homie. The Legate killed people with his bare hands in the arena. Can you believe that shit, Legion Mongrel? Away, true to Kaisar. Yep, true to Kaisar. Hey, is that you? Kaisar awaits you. We can talk afterwards. So I finally get to meet the courier who's accomplished so much in so little time. That's why I summoned you here, right? I mean, a man nearly kills you, and your response is to track him across the breath of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You visit the tops and next thing you know the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? Uh, well, let me just kill Benny. I'll be on my way. Benny is my prisoner. You don't deal with him unless you've dealt with me. Don't worry. You'll get the platinum chip he was carrying, and then you'll use it like I tell you to. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. How do you know so much about me? I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. What do I have to do? Down the hill at the west edge of camp is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? 
I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open, or drilled open, or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. And once I'm inside? I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. So... We're not friends with the Legion, Hello. and I don't know if we'll be able to deceive them. But we don't want to destroy whatever's down there. We need to use it to take over the strip from Mr. House. Right, we can go together now. Look at you with your little hubcap arm. Slaves aren't much of a challenge in the real. Through to Kaiser. Ah! Watch where you're swinging that fucking thing. Jesus. None may enter. Walker has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. Perfect. Thank you, my friend. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. It will be fine. Okay. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. The two step goodbye. Bonus critical chance, but reduced critical damage and on critical kill explosion. I mean, it's considered a melee weapon, but I don't like these fists. Because it's a gun, right? You punch and the gun goes off. I feel like you're not using an unarmed weapon though at that point. I also need one on un I 100 unarmed to be proficient with it. Alright, where do I put the chip? Primary power source unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Insert the platinum chip into the slot. The console hums quietly, powered by some unknown source. There is a round slot on the console about the size of a poker chip. Now, if he couldn't get through that hatch without the chip, how did he know the door said Lucky 38? A little radioactive in here, I don't like that. Mr. House. Well, you're here ahead of schedule. I suppose it's just as well. This is where I wanted you to end up after all. I knew I could rely on Caesar to give you back the platinum chip. What makes you think Caesar gave me the chip? Well, I mean, he did. You wanted me to come down here? That's rather obvious, isn't it? The platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. I'll upload the data. Good. I won't hold you up any longer. Okay, good shot. Well, there goes my AP, because he had to die super slow.
Plasma gun. Plasma grenades. Hello. Bunch of terminals I can't really operate. Repair 60 for the door junction box, never mind. some pulse grenades. I see that turret there. Upgrade the Securitron army to use later for your own purposes or destroy the Securitron army. We're going to do it for our own purposes later. If we're fighting robots, maybe I should bring the chainsaw. Whoa. Okay, okay, stay cool. My legs are crippled. I should cure that right away. We have doctor's bags. We're, sh we're gonna be out 100 caps here because we gotta purge this radiation. If the bunker's power regulators are destroyed, its reactor will overload in a matter of seconds. No, 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 we wanna save the robots. We got the pulse grenades for this. Oh, sorry, Eddie. Had to do it. Insert the platinum chip and install the Mark II upgrade software. This is the Securetron Operations Console for the Securetron Vault. Software updates can be installed from this console. Do it. Outstanding. Let's see it. Alright, now we just gotta hope we can bamboozle Caesar about this. 
What was down there? Uh, just a bunch of porno mags. I ripped him up. Slaves aren't much of a challenge. You've carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. Of course. Here you go. You're free to leave. Just arena. True to Kaisa. You must enter Kaisar's tent. God damn it. Just make them wait. Why do I have to fucking do it? Where's Eddie? I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. There are rewards for doing as I command. Today, your reward is vengeance. You get to decide how Benny dies. Go to Benny. Let him know what you've decided. My Praetorians will perform the execution. Unless you want to perform it yourself. Thank you, Kaiser. Consider it the first of many bestowments. Level up. Let's get started on that science. Ooh, another perk. Probably toughness. What do we have here? Night person here now. Finesse. Now here we go. With finesse, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent. That's an extra 5% chance, I think. Although super slam with the 50% attack speed, it could be pretty fucking gross. I think finesse. I think finesse. I'm gonna go with finesse. And we'll go with the health again. Happy Trails Expedition Broadcast found. Apparently we're the appropriate level for... Uh, I think that's Honest Hearts. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Go ahead and laugh, baby. I ain't blind to the humor in this situation. It's like you played past your abilities. Didn't leave me much choice when you showed up. Like I said, you forced my hand. So, baby, what did you find down there? None of your business. It's time for you to die. I see. And how's that going to happen? Uh, we'll fight in the arena, fair and square. Machetes at 20 paces, hey? I accept your challenge. Okay. You're a class act, baby. Not to say I'm gonna make it easy for you. Aha! Come on! Why are you fucking good at this? With the duel concluded, your regular equipment has been returned to you, just as his head explodes. Yeah. Victor's not saving you, are you fucking serious? Just something about the arena. All right, well. I'm not gonna fight you in the arena. I felt the ground shake a while. Go ahead and laugh, baby. None of your business. I've decided to kill you here and now. I see. Keep it simple, eh? Around here, it's one of the better options. Yeah, close your eyes if you want. Nah, I'd rather see it coming. Do it, baby. Make it clean. Mm 
It's tougher than he looks. Okay, this is just taking too fucking long. What's taking so long over there? Just speed bagging Benny's head. Hey, hey. Who said you could get up? New slave girls are quite beautiful. Hit him so hard he untied himself. His own suit, ring a ding ding. And he has a named 9mm pistol, Maria. Feed the worms. It is done. I'm sure you found Benny's demise pleasing. The destruction of an enemy? There are a few things more satisfying. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. Okay, see ya. Complete your mission and return to me. Let's just go right to Lucky 38, because I think when we fast travel, it gives us our ship back magically. Yep. Now, we could bamboozle Caesar here when we kill Mr. House. Because Yes Man wants us to kill him, but then we could pretend that we did it to help Caesar. I need you to wait here because people aren't allowed up there. Where to, partner? I take it you've come to deliver the platinum. Ah, we need to discuss payment. Our terms were clear. Now... Shit. I think we can give it to him. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. So very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. What happens next? A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. What you see there will help you understand the significance of what you accomplished at the fort. Really? This is where things get tricky because I'm not quite sure. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms that try to easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser produced to spec by Glassing House Inc. is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you 
did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to gain at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto-repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Why show your hand like that? I'm surprised you can still underestimate me after everything you've seen. I haven't shown my hand. I've shown one card. I've given my enemies a single provocative datum upon which to fixate. They have no idea what other cards I'm holding. It's a strong hand, believe me. I dealt it to myself. Can you defeat the Legion in the NCR? Why would I want to go to war against the NCR? They're my best customers. If their leaders weren't scheming to steal Vegas out from under me, I'd have no troubles with the NCR at all. The Foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the Fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. I've done enough. Oh, fucking Christ. I just want this conversation to end without revealing my hand. What's the next step? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. I'll make sure they support the right side. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. Did I fuck it up? Can they still go to Yes Man? Return to Yes Man, kill or disable, Mr. Huss. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? It was me. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. If you're going to ask me for help, stop, I don't care. No, wait, please. Mr. House has access to technology that could help save a lot of lives. Lives of people who suffer a great deal. Unlike Mr. House, 
Refugees in New Vegas don't have the luxury of constant medical care. Some of them don't even have regular access to clean water. I guess we could thank NCR for that. Anyway, just a bit of information about Mr. House's technology it could go a long way. I said no. <laughs> Dr. Buford Oge diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Ha, ah, there's money involved. I guess we are also trying to kill Dr. Ho, Mr. Ho, so all right. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Flying, I understood what any of that was. Look at you with your new picture. Please, do not stand in the fountains. There you are. Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. If something happens to Mr. House, I may be in touch. I'll be waiting right here. What's going on here? Roulette, blackjack, slots, they have it all here. Can kiss my sweet Get out. Ass. Get out. The fountain is for wishes, ladies. Who wants to swim? Water's fine. Please remove your bra from the bottom of the fountain. And gather your clothes and belongings. Ladies, please disperse. Come on, big man. Roll All right, up in baby. here. Show's over. All right, girls. Show's over. Wanna uh -oh. dance? Come on. <laughs> it's the law, girls. Are you going to spank us? I so love handcuffs. Hello, Sparky. All right, enough fun for tonight. The fountain is a restricted area. Why did they just go into the casino? What the fuck is going on? You're real shitty MPs. Hey. Who's this? Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. Okay. So what are we up to here? We've got to kill Mr. House somehow. Yeah, we could try the Yeti quest. Eddie appears to have some Enclave log data stored that is triggered by some keywords. Well, we can go to Novak, drop some shit off. Actually, he doesn't really have anything good, but he might have enough money. How you doing? Welcome back. Gonna get you in. What do you got for sale? Rumors 
He has no money. Got a little money there. Offload that radiation suit. You know, it's not a shotgun, too. Two step goodbye. I mean, I don't really see us using it. We can hang on to it for when we're really in trouble, but I feel if the power fist doesn't cut it, we can just use the chainsaw. or NCR might not make much of a difference around here I think actually maybe we'll get started on some DLC take a little break the reunion of the divide that's for lonesome road which is really hard so I don't like that one Investigate the midnight showing at the Mojave Drive, and that's for Old World Blues, which is very science heavy, so I don't want to go there till we have more points in science. Ooh, go to Red Rock Canyon and make contact with the Great Cons. That's a great idea. Where is Red Rock Canyon? Where are the Great Cons? Maybe here? This is the boomers, for sure. So yeah, this is where the great cons are. Let's go there. This is actually just past the bandits we beat up earlier. So the path should be clear for a few days. Oh, nope, I lied. Goddamn hot, we all got blown out again. I'm gonna make you free. Can I help you, ladies? That just fucking hurt. Get that beautiful karma up noise as I murder a man. So they're over that hill, but I think I have to take the highway. I'm hoping the road turns. Yeah, probably do this and then that. We actually rescued that great con man when we were at Cottonwood Coast, so we should be their friend. That is a lot of fire geckos around here. Is that a great con? It is. Uh, so yeah, saving that dude plus we got them out of Boulder City. They should be neutral. That bad. 
At least. Yeah. An eye patch. Oof. You've had a rough life. There we go. Yeah, I heard from but you one just... of the runners that that check coated bastard got thrown out on his ass. You're magical. You're just leaning on nothing. What? Not many get the favor of Caesar. Even Papa. What the hell is this? I don't think that's a person at all. So yeah, I think we want to chum up the Great Cons and then we'll do some DLC, probably Honest Hearts, which I hope level 10 won't be too early. It's, it's become unlocked. Hopefully it scales properly. Mr. House isn't a man to be trusted. Watch yourself. Hey, welcome to Red Rock Canyon. Since you've done so much for the Great Cons, Papa Khan told me to let you know you can buy weapons at our armory. You can find it in the basement of the burned out building at the mouth of the canyon. That's outstanding. Thank you. Pop a con. Fuck them. We'll make them pay for stabbing us. I'm glad our brothers have returned from both. Oh. Someone's in the wobble pop. Look at this guy. Oh, and you're, you're that crippled guy I helped. Thanks again for saving my ass. Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. A special drug recipe? Here you go. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's Anders the turbo. For so long, we're shorthanded on runners, and some backlogs have piled up. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. Sure. I am interested in being a drug mule. All those sh hours playing Shadowrun prepared me for this moment. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Mildly suspicious package, it's called. Soon now, how do I make turbo? Turbo is made from the following. A brock flour, cazador of poison gland, and then we just mix some jet with turpentine. It's from the Arizona campaign. The NCR won't know what hit them. Can you tell me about the Great Cons? I can tell you they're a bunch of big dumb jerks with no appreciation for art. I mean, can you believe their initiation? What? Everybody has to do it. Well, everybody wants to be a con anyways. They toss you into the ring there and beat on you for a solid minute. If you survive, you're in. That doesn't sound so tough. Sure, maybe not if you're some hulking reprobate like Regis or big to the gills like Jack. I've tried five times and still haven't made it. Maybe you should just leave. I don't know. The cons don't really get me, but at least they're family, you know? What are you doing? Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again.
Okay, see ya. Indulgent. What rhymes with indulgent? Oh, no, no, that's terrible. The Great Cons. I heard from one of Melissa's runners that that check coated bastard got thrown out on his ass. I can't find Papacon. Weird little graffiti you've made there. Yeah, I think we'll do. I think we'll get started on Honest Hearts next time. I'm not really sure if there's a return to yes main and tell me you're playing with Northern Great Cons. I guess you don't really get most people to help you. So it's more like we're letting the great cons do their own thing rather than like getting them involved in the battle. But hey, they fucking showed us how to make turbo, which is great. And apparently I can go to their secret weapon shop. Robot. She likes my robot. They tell me I'm supposed to sell you weapons. Interested? I am interested. Take a look. Ooh. A recharger pistol. Way less damage, though. They've got a lot of garbage. Bye. What? I like you, stranger. You've stood by us when not many would. Don't worry, ladies, I'm single. It's like a great con caravan. You got drugs? A nice robot. No, not you, Edie. I'm trying to buy drugs. Nice robot. I wish they were more like you. Nah, it's just a just a patrol. I was hoping for a drug caravan. Let's deliver this mysterious package to the Crimson Caravan, by the way. It's almost time to wrap up here. A short one today, because we start a little late. Things are good. Don Hadstead or something was his name. It's a weird hat. There you are. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Got a package here from your friends, Jack and Diane. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, uh, I'll take that. You should go now before you draw any attention. Of course, he's got his fucking excited face on. Oh, I got some drugs. I think that's because he was smoking when I told him.
Hey there. You look into Let's buy. Holy shit, this guy's got three thousand dollars. The Red Rock, so the drug lab is its own fast travel point. Incredible. Good news about the drugs. I've been hearing a lot of good things about you. What's up? I finished the Crimson Caravan run. Great. Here's your payment. Have you considered making more helpful chems? Helpful? What, like bathtub stim packs? What's the point of that? Medical supplies are always scarce and they don't kill the buyers off and think of the profits. You've got a point. Selling meds to the locals could be a pretty nice side gig. Alright, I'll tell Jack to give it a try. Look at that. Have you started making meds yet? Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. We'll keep it small for now, but if it turns a profit, we might expand. Tell me a little about the Great Cons. I'll spare you the history lesson. God damn it, I don't know where Papa Khan is. Hear that story. Things have been rough for a while now. Even with Jack working all the time and my runners making deliveries daily, we're barely getting by. Maybe this alliance with Caesar will help, but I don't know. Oh no, an alliance with Caesar. Red Rock Canyon isn't exactly the most hospitable place. There's no food, barely any water, and nothing anybody wants. We used to send patrols out to acquire supplies, but ever since Bitter Springs, there just aren't enough of us left. Any jobs? Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. What do you got? You up for something challenging? I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Bolt 3. Okay. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Your payment will be waiting when you get back. What do you have for sale? Jack handles the small time purchases. You should talk to him unless you're looking for a major shipment. Okay, okay, calm and down. They like me here. I like this place. This is where the drugs come from. Speaking of drugs, what the fuck's glowing in there? Hey, fungus. Whoa, new guy. Got any work? Diane handles most of the transactional elements of this little enterprise, but I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. I know a few recipes, apparently. Right on. What have you got? Uh, none. Apparently I get a lot at 50. Let's trade. Oh, you're buying. Cool. Very cool. And look at that, they gave me some great con armor so I can go inside Vault 3. Because I think Vault 3 is in those ruins, the bandit ruins outside Camp McCarran. That's a lot of money, but it's a good batch of drugs. Pleasure doing business with you. What do you think about Caesar? Huh? Look, man, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, Savvy. We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we've got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Tell me a little about the Great Cons. They're family, you dig? They've always looked out for us, made sure we had something to eat and a place to crash. Papa may look like a big angry bear, but he's a softy at heart. 
Regis is cool, scary, but cool. The rest are all pretty groovy, even little Jerry. Who? Oh, that's the poet kid. Uh, the other dudes call him Jerry the Punk. That's kind of harsh, though. I think he's just a sensitive soul that needs some love. He's usually down around the proving ground if you want to say yo. I don't. How's the medical work going? Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already. But if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. Well, see ya. Man, we can make turbo. The great cons know how to make stim packs, man. Deliver drugs to motor runner. I think we can do that. I think we can do that first before we go to Honest Hearts. But for now, let's head back to our home base. Wrap it up. I mean, we're doing like the, the power fists are fully modded. The chainsaw is almost fully modded. But yeah, thanks for coming out. And next time, we'll have even more Buford Ocean. I forget where Honest Hearts takes place. Arizona? But we gotta, we gotta wrap up this business with the Great Cons. We need some more points in science so we can make more drugs. Because more drugs is more fun. Let's see if there's any shit I can put away. Now we've got a pretty good buffer of carry weight, too. I think we'll be fine to get right into it next time. So thanks for coming out to watch. And I'll see you next time. Until then.